Well, it is the fifth straight day of record COVID-19 hospitalizations in the state. Some of those patients are experiencing worse reactions than others. That's one of the mysteries surrounding this virus. Our digital reporter, Judith Rotana, spoke with a research triangle company tasked with looking into why that is. She joins us live tonight. Judith. When we look at COVID-19 patients in the hospital, we are seeing some who come in and do respond well to treatments, while someone else who may be the same age or race does not. And we've seen cases where a young person ultimately dies of this virus, while someone over 60 is able to go home after a couple weeks. Researchers at Metabolin are trying to solve this mystery, taking a deeper look at what in your body's chemical composition can make you more vulnerable. It's a tremendously big deal for us. Metabolin is using their biochemistry expertise to help further understand the body's reaction to COVID-19. We have a very unique role to play in helping the understanding of this disease and helping with better outcomes for patients ultimately. The Morrisville-based company will study biomarkers in 1,000 hospitalized patients nationwide. They want to pinpoint why patients who may be similar in age or health are responding differently. This is is the largest, most definitive study to date, to my knowledge, to understand in a very large population across the U.S. Data collected from North Carolina patients may show if lifestyle or diet we have here has any impact. We're going to see some really unique and important findings uh, to help understand how people respond and how different regions are responding to the illness. Researchers will collect samples from patients over the course of their hospitalization. Not everyone's going to be getting the vaccine, not everyone's going to be responsive to the vaccine. So we need to understand better what the course of treatment is for uh, uh, susceptible profiles. Metabolon says there are unique insights you can only learn by looking closely at the biochemistry of patients. Their work on this may even help attract more talent and investment in the area. Raises the profile of what this can do clinically and raises the profile of what this can do for our company uh, and ultimately the, the larger RTP area. While hospitalization numbers are not looking good right now, it is speeding up the number of people enrolled in the study and moving up the timeline for its conclusion. No concrete date yet on when we'll know the results of this research. Judith Rathana, CBS 17 News.